done, right? Because that actually has some really interesting insight, okay? So, I just saw 33.33 on the freaking timer, you guys. So, all right, you know? I'm not sure where <laughs> the video stopped because it keeps rolling on the phone, but it'll stop when I'm trying to upload. It'll cut it at like 33.22 or something like that. I don't know. So anyways, you're, if you're here, you're here. If you're not, then thanks for coming to the first one or whatever. <laughs> right? All right. So I just pulled these up. I didn't get a chance to shuffle. I, I just want to shuffle again real quick. Forget, just so you know that I'm shuffling these things, you know, so you know I'm not just, you know, dilly dally. You hear that rain, it's still coming down. But it feels nice and cool in here, so I like that part. I'm kinda ready to have a snack soon, too. <laughs> snack time! Alright. <clears throat> so let's see what the final card is here. I'm kinda glad it's still going because it doesn't ruin the energy, you know. Kinda when I, I feel like I have to rush it. Ugh, I hate that, but hopefully we're all here for this one. Let's go ahead and find out what this final card is here for this off the grid timeless reading. A reading between soulmates, right? About soulmates. What is the final card for this reading? Final card. There it is. Wow. Oh my gosh. At the bottom of the deck, we have the chariot. Somebody is coming, you guys. Somebody is coming, all right? <laughs> wow. Dang, for those of you that didn't stay, they missed out, right? Somebody's coming. And they're, they're in route movement. Somebody here also could be in route, moving away, moving towards, could be somebody with cancer in their chart, okay? But the final card, you guys, look at that. The Ace of Crystals. Brilliance, right? This is about truth, honesty, integrity, right? Somebody is coming to speak their truth. Somebody has figured out a creative... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Somebody... I just got, like, this weird... You know, because of the word brilliance, that probably why it, it triggered something in my mind. Somebody might be receiving a piece of jewelry with a brilliant stone in it. I don't know. You guys can figure out. You guys... I don't know. But somebody... Somebody, it could be that, or somebody's creativity, they have come up with a brilliant idea. And that idea involves telling the truth. I'll tell you what, that's better than any gift. I swear, any physical gift. I'd rather get the truth. Because things are just things. They're just things. They're, it's just stuff. Remember? Nothing can replace the truth. Nobody, nothing can replace real emotions. You know, real truth. Real feelings. Let's see what that Ace of Crystals is all about. What is this Ace of Crystals doing, that, doing here? Ace of Crystals. Ace of Crystals. We have first out the Six of Wands. It's in the upright. Okay, so that's good. So that means somebody's going to come in and they're going to have victory in this situation. Basically. Right? Basically, they're going to have victory in this situation. Whatever truth they bring. But, let's, you know, I don't feel like that's enough. Hold on. Let me see what else is going on here. Or maybe somebody is hoping... To have victory but that card is basically like victory is yours right 
Okay, the truth is somebody will be coming in. They will be heartbroken, okay? They're going to be heartbroken, all right? I don't think they're coming in to break your heart, oh, but they could be. They could be in a relationship already, and they might be coming to tell you the truth about this. If that's not it, they could be coming to you as in a heartbroken person, as in something has ended or died out. Oh, somebody's uh, somebody may have passed. They could be heartbroken from that, and if so, my condolences. Um, heartbroken over a relationship, something that didn't work out. They could even be coming back heartbroken about a failed business attempt. That, yeah, that'll break your heart too if you can't follow through with your business plans and maybe there's a lot of money law. It could be any of those situations, you guys. But somebody's coming back heartbroken, right? That's part of the truth that's coming in, right? There's going to be some heartbreaking action going on here. Okay, we got two cards that came out. And this guy is the king of... So, yeah, he's going to possibly say... He's in the reverse, too. He's so unstable. He's also... He's the same energy of the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, but in the male version. Stingy, not very nurturing, not very, you know... This person may have, in the past, like I said, had a business, had it all, but they're heartbroken because they lost it all. Okay, they lost it all. What is this? Because there was too many options. They didn't know which ones to choose. And they were choosing willy-nilly all over randomly. They thought they made the right choice, but they didn't. Right? And that is why the front and center card is the Seven of Cups, the card of fear. Huh. You see how this all pulls together, you guys? So that's why all this fear, somebody has had this fear. But that fear has brought them to say, you know what, i got to tell the truth. I gotta tell the truth now. I chose wrong. Somebody chose wrong. Somebody thought they knew where the money or the whatever was, the stability, and they were so darn wrong. And they could also be heartbroken over the loss of the relationship with you because, you know, or whoever this person they fear to come to tell the truth to, right? If that's you, I don't know. You gotta pick who you are in the story, right? Because I don't know who's watching. But I'm getting the energy of all this, right? But this that's why the person has so much fear right here because they know that if they bring in the truth, that's what they that's all they gotta do. They just gotta bring in the truth. Right? Because this priestess, she knows. So the people we're dealing with here, we have a man of wands, a person who is a high priestess, which is most likely a single individual, and we have a queen of pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, married or in a, some sort of long-standing relationship with a King of Pentacles who could have fire in his chart. He could have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. He could have fire. He could also have water in his chart. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. All right. Wands is Leos, Aries, and Sagittarius. So this person can have all those three signs in their chart, but we are talking about three people here. A husband and wife, or a couple, however you want to do it. It could also be a family member, and we have this high priestess who is a single individual who will be possibly receiving some truth um, because this person is heartbroken over the situation that has been lost. All right. What was at the bottom of this deck? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. This person, I look, it's still there. <laughs> this person is not giving up on the fight. They're coming in to fight for this. Because they feel like they can have victory here, but only if they tell the truth. And they're coming in. They're coming in quickly on this chariot, I feel like, because because look, this person has seen the light. Look at this this eyes on this, you know. The card underneath that is disappointment and sorrow. Six of cups, five of cups. Wow. Oh, 
So they're coming in. They're going to come in real sad, you guys. They're going to come in sad and upset about something. And I have a feeling it might not be what you expect. Like, you might, oh, they're coming back sad because they broke up with some karmic, blah, blah, blah. It might not be that, you guys. It might be something family-related or I don't know. But uh, it also could be that this man of wands was dealing with that couple, this queen. and <laughs> Sorry, you guys. The priestess had to do it. <laughs> All right. I didn't want to do that on camera, but, you know, I was climbing over the high pre... Oh, it's still there. It's, like, stuck to, uh... I got the door right here. I'm trying to flick it out. All right. That's why you guys hear the rain so well, because I'm, like, right by the door, so... All right. <clears throat> what was I saying now? Somebody wants to fight for this, right? Oh, I was saying, there could actually be, you guys... There's, there could be four people here. There could be a man of worlds and a priestess, right? And this couple over here, there could be a couple involved in keeping these two apart or causing some sort of issues with this person deciding on which option to choose, right? Some influencers. And these two people you saw, they're freaking both in the reverse. You know what I'm saying? So they're like both unstable. This person has been getting advice from totally unstable, selfish, broke unhappy couple that could be it too actually i think that's what what it might be it might actually be that for somebody okay so yeah i want to break out this kabbalah hell yeah this is a crazy deck you guys one day i'm going to be able to do a reading with this but not anytime soon because i don't just I don't just grab the cards and just will it. No, I, I gotta, I gotta study them a little bit. I gotta get to know them, you know. I gotta get to get the feel. Check these out. They're trippy. They're all like red cards, and they, they all kind of look like this, you know, with the little circle things on them. Okay. And I have the book, and I am just going to read. What catches my eye? And try to give you an intuitive message. Because if I read you the whole thing, it's like Encyclopedia Dreams of Gaia. You know, there's a lot of information in there. And it's just... Let's just go ahead and see what comes out. Okay. I want to give it a couple shuffles, though, here. Because it's coming out the box. So I want to shuffle it. And I have shuffled it several times previously. But, you know, just to get the energy of this off the grid timeless reading. We want to get some solid advice from this Kabbalah deck oracle. Alright, we're looking for just a few cards. One or two only. Alright. You know, because we kind of get the idea of what's going on here in this situation. There's a lot of influencers here, but somebody's been enlightened. Alright. I feel like that's good. Let's see what comes out from the Kabbalah deck, right? Kabbalah oracle. In regards to this situation. Now, for those of you that don't know about the Kabbalah, it's about... It's a, it's a, it involves Jewish religion, right? The Jewish religion, which is slightly different than the Christian Christianity. It's just, there's some differences. All religions are different, even though they should all be the same. But everybody puts a little a little twist on it to make it different, right? And I think if you're here watching Terry, you might already understand that now, by now. What is that one? That one just kind of pushed its way out. The Advisor. Wow! The Advisor, you guys. And this is a number five card, and already I can tell you this is like air, right? It's of air element, right? Somebody has realized or learned things by perpetuating over and over again the same sort of experiences, kind of like echoing in their mind, right? And now they have figured out, within the essence of themselves, 
what this really is, right? It's almost like an inner advisor, right? Did we not talk about, oh my God, what's that? I'm trying to remember if, because remember I told you guys, I started a reading of this yesterday and I was like, oh, no, no, I can't do it, kind of cut off. I'm wondering, uh, I'm not too sure. I was going to say I'm wondering if that getting advice or it was from the last reading or from the last, you guys are so much info. I can't remember, you know, when I'm doing the readings, I can't, because there's so much info that comes out. Let me find out what this advisor is. And the thing is, with this, okay, we're looking at uh, the numbers here. It's hard to find. Here it is, the advisor. Oracle and the tree issued a promise and the promise blossomed into a golden flower which adorned the tree humming resounded perpetually among its shining petals and when the sun declined the flower would close hugging to itself the potent pollen of experience yes the tree would then sigh stretching forth its branches and its new wood demanded a place in the air. This the advisor told the neophyte. So this is air, right? Wheel five, there's going to be changes. Companion cards are the skeleton, the slugger, and the dancer. Okay, yeah, those are the other elements, okay? Now, the possible meaning or life tasks, let's start with the life tasks. It may be the moment to become either a pupil or a teacher or both. The transmission of knowledge is important. If you want to go for further, you will need to find someone who can train you adequately. If you have knowledge, then you need to pass it on. But you must find your own ways and means of doing this. And this is where the creativity comes in. Somebody is trying to be creative about finding out how to do something. All right? But the universe, or the Kabbalah, right, is basically saying that you got to figure it out yourself, though. And you can do that by going within. You're ending the cycle with the universe card, the universe within. The universe will direct you on how to speak your truth. Right? Yes. Things are definitely changing for somebody. Possible meanings. Magical initiation, a period of teaching of, or training creative work, especially involving myth and story. Advice or consultation, instructions, a new subject to study. So somebody might also be learning something here. Somebody might be advising somebody on a certain thing that they want to learn about, right? And it could have to do with inner healing. It could be have to do with stability. Um, something like that. That's what I'm feeling. Because as you see, there's no, there's no pentacle cards here, you guys. There's none. So this has nothing to do with money. Somebody may have put that money mindset aside and said, you know, I'm going to focus on love. Because maybe that's not what their, their focus was in the past. Maybe they were just all about the money. Get the bag. Get the money. Get the bag. You know, like you hear some of these readers say. But it's not the focus. The focus is get the love, give the love, share the love, teach the love, learn the love. It's all about love, right? And, you know, people, you know, some people love money too much, you know? And money doesn't buy happiness because those are just things. All right, you guys, that's what I have for you guys today. That was a gnarly reading. It was a long reading, but um, that's what I have. If it resonated, um, please subscribe, like, and share. If you guys stayed for the rest, awesome. Thank you so much, because there was really a good rest of the reading. Um, oh, also, every, every reading, just about every reading, I think, has an afterthought song, but I don't have it in the comment section anymore. I have it in the drop-down. If you click the drop-down of the video to find out information about me or whatever, or the video, whatnot, the first few lines you're going to find the Afterthought song. And the Afterthought song is a song that comes to my mind for each reading. It could come during, before, or after. 
This one will have one afterthought song for a combination of the two, right? I already know what it is, but I'll, you guys are going to have to check below uh, if you're interested because it is part of the reading, all right? So that's what I have for you guys, and um, yeah, I'm Mona. Uh, oh, oh, I almost forgot. Keep it true, love, energy, you guys. Happy, friendly, loving types. So we have nothing to fear as long as you stay calm and cheerful. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys, that's it. I'm Mona, this is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I will talk to you next time.